Hello everyone, I am going to talk about the rectus sheath. So this is a specimen of the abdomen and I will be reflecting the layers of abdomen. This is the skin and this is the superficial fascia. As you can see, now one half of the abdomen has been exposed and I will show you the landmarks of the abdomen now. Here we have the z process. Here we have the umbilicus and here we have the pubic symphysis and here you also can see the coastal margin. There is a line in the midline of abdomen. It is called as the linea alba. It is formed by the union of the aponeurosis of flat muscles of the abdomen and here we have something called as linea semilunaris. Now I have divided the anterior wall of the rectus sheath longitudinally as you can see here and I am going to reflect it now. And after reflecting the anterior wall you can see that there is a long muscle here it is the rectus abdominis muscle. Now this muscle here you can see three tendinous intersections. Originally this anterior wall was attached to these but then we have reflected it now. Then below here we have another muscle which is called as the pyramidalis muscle. This is the pyramidalis muscle. Now on the lateral margin of the rectus abdominis, if we reflect it this way, we are going to find the lower six thoracic nerves. And then when we go further below, we can see the inferior epigastric vessels which run behind the rectus abdominis muscle and you can see them here. Now this is the posterior wall of the rectus sheath which is formed by the aponeurosis of the flat muscles of the abdomen and this is the line called as arcuate line and below this line the posterior wall of the rectus sheath is deficient and it is formed by fascia transversalis which separates it from the pelvic organs. So that is all about the rectus sheath. Thank you.